Behind me, during the Shila dynasty, is likely the burial site of an ancestor, likely of royalty. Oftentimes, these are wonderful places to understand the history of a place. So during the Shila dynasty, oftentimes royalty were buried in these mounds. Uh, connected to Korea includes geomancy, this idea that the geography of the land, the location of the burial sites, the shape of the mound, all matters to Koreans. And so even now, even a thousand years later, we can still see the tradition of this mound. We are currently in the mound. We are inside the mound itself. Above us was the green grass. We are inside at this point. Oh my goodness, look at this. So first of all, you see the stones in the background, and now we are looking at, oh, the burial tomb itself. So I'm hearing there's a casket, lots of artifacts that are there, and then the burial items over here. People living during the Shiva dynasty believed in the afterlife, so you can see them taking things with them for the future. Wow. The other day at the National Museum, we saw this crown. This is a replica of it. The original that was found in the tomb behind me is now in the National Museum. This item here is a symbolic example of power that uh, like from above, you have been given power to rule over. You've been given the mandate of heaven, so symbolic power. This is a fascinating idea that items all along, along the Silk Road pass through the Middle East, the Talamakan Desert, into China, and then down into Korea. Which is why they are able to find so many artifacts from all over the world, even though it was during the Shila dynasty. So this is what the tomb looked like. So you can see all the painstaking hardware to make sure each item was taken out correctly. Earlier you had seen that golden crown, so you can see also the painstaking effort to bring all the parts together to make that crown. Thank you.